Housing values continue to rise in March despite coronavirus concerns and restrictions. However, conditions are expected to cool over the coming months as buyers and sellers wait for confidence to return. Let's get into the details with this month's market update. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So the trend in housing values remained positive throughout March with the CoreLogic National Index rising 0.7% over the month. Although housing values continued to rise, the second half of the month experienced the slowing in growth as confidence slumped and social distancing policies took effect. The National March reading emerged as the lowest monthly gain since the market lifted in July last year. CoreLogic Head of Research Tim Lawless said, although Australia's housing markets have begun to enter a period of disruption, they are coming from strong foundations. Over the month, housing values rose across every capital city apart from Hobart, which declined 0.2%, while over the March quarter, every capital city recorded a rise in housing values. Sydney had the highest growth over the quarter with values up 3.9%, followed by Melbourne at 2.9% and Canberra at 1.7%. Brisbane and Perth grew at 1.6% and 0.9% respectively, while the lowest quarterly gain was in Darwin and Adelaide, each increasing 0.6%. Now, a similar story occurred across the regional areas of each state with values higher over the month and quarter. However, Tim noted, Lawless noted that recent trends in the market have become less relevant as we move into a period of unprecedented uncertainty, which is likely to impact further on household confidence and drag Australia's economy into a recession for the first time in almost 30 years. Tim Lawless said the housing market won't be immune to a drop in sentiment and weaker economy. However, the extent of the impact on dwelling values remains highly uncertain. Capital growth trends will be contingent on how long it takes to contain the virus and whether additional constraints on business or personal activities are introduced. From a transactional perspective, Tim Lawless said, we are expecting the number of residential property sales to fall dramatically over the coming months as a consequence of tanking consumer confidence, a rising jobless rate and more cautious lending practices. Restrictions on open homes and on-site auctions will compound the slowdown in buyer activity, as would any further policy announcements related to peripheral services such as building and pest inspections, conveyancing and furniture removals. Considering the temporary nature of the crisis, along with the unprecedented levels of government stimulus, leniency from lenders for distressed borrowers and record low interest rates, housing values are likely to be more insulated than sales activity, said Mr Lawless. He said the extent of any fall in housing values is impossible to fathom without further understanding the length of time this health and economic crisis persists. Arguably, the longer it takes to contain the virus and bring economic operations back to normal, the higher the downside risk to housing values. So, it seems that Tim Lawless and CoreLogic have a similar view to myself and many other industry pundits. Uh, this crisis certainly will impact transactions, however, the impact on housing values is much harder to predict depending on the length and depth of the crisis. When viewed against the backdrop of history, it's been well demonstrated that the housing market is typically insulated during economic downturns and performs well off the back of them. So guys, that's it from me today. Remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, if you want to submit a question or there is a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail for our Just Ask Tim video series, there's a link in the post to do that as well. Now guys, stay tuned later in the week uh, for The Wire. Actually, it'll be early next week, The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Have a great week, guys, and remember, it's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. See ya.